previous government that is visible yeah. is that uh, they borrowed too much money. Mm. Uh, but uh, these issues of uh, saying that uh, so and so stole too much money from Treasury, mm. uh, I have said we stop that debate until that time when we will recover that money. Mm. Because the government has got all the machinery, ways and means to follow up on those characters mm. and uh, bring back whatever they stole. But even though uh, I'm also waiting for investigations concerning the 17 billion, billion that um, certain lady was bringing to this country, mm -hmm. because uh, some school of thought opines that uh, that is part of the money that uh, was stolen from Treasury, uh, taken uh, to a foreign country, and now they were being, they came in, instead of cash, but they came in in the name of, of fuel, mm -hmm. so that now when you sell, now you will bring back that money back to this country. Mm. So we are waiting for investigators to expeditiously unravel uh, that uh, 17 billion, mm. 17 billion. Mm. But I will ask our agencies and our government, if there is uh, anybody who stole too much money from treasury, mm -hmm. that money must be followed and must be brought back into this country, regardless of whether the beneficiary is a former president or his ally, you know, and we, we, we have reached a place where we should not continue crying. Mm -hmm. You know, just like uh, from my community, there's a proverb that says, mm -hmm. when you lose your, 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 your child, and the mother of that child is still young, yourself, you are still energetic, you don't continue crying from the, grave, uh, the graveyard. Mm -hmm. You cry one week, mm -hmm. then the other week or the other month, mm -hmm. you go back to the basics uh, and you pray God to give you another baby. Mm -hmm. Then life has to, continue. has to continue. So what we need to do now that, um, the reason as to why very many Kenyans uh, feel abandoned by us is because uh, a number of uh, government ministries are not transparent in terms of uh, communicating to the Kenyans about uh, their interventions to bring down the cost of living. I know there are a number of things that uh, the government of Kenya is doing. Mm. Uh, so I would want to see either the government spokesman, uh, Dr. Isaac Maura, uh, to be briefing the country in the same manner as to which uh, Horobo Mutai Kagwe mm. was briefing the country during COVID-19. Yes. We want to see the uh, weekly or quarterly briefings by government yeah. uh, to the Kenyans that are on this particular sector, that where Kenyans are, are hurting. These are our interventions that we, we, we have uh, implemented uh, this week. And then after a month, they can even come back and say that the interventions which we implemented mm -hmm. in the last one week or two weeks or three weeks has uh, brought forward this type of fruits. So that Kenyans continue to be aware that uh, we don't have a we, uh, the government is not sleeping, mm -hmm. but uh, is taking their concerns seriously because however much interventions the government has, yeah. Uh, however, uh, regardless of how many programs the government is implementing, mm. if Kenyans are not aware, they will feel uh, let down, mm. 